Hi, welcome back to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. You'll be cooking with me today in the kitchen. We're going to be cooking the rainbow runner that Nick and Kevin caught the other day. We're going to prepare it with a garlic and capers and a garlic noodle at the end. I like to lightly season the fish with salt. I like to get the back sides. All the sides. The stove. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Get all over stuff. Perfect. Okay. And then a little pepper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely all over stuff. Awesome. This is definitely not um, uh, food network. Definitely not food network. Okay. And then I like to lightly uh, dust it with flour after. So we're going to heat up the pan first on a medium heat. I have mine on like five. Um, then we'll put the oil in in a little bit. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan so the fish doesn't stick. So we have two four to five ounce pieces of the rainbow runner here. We have one lemon here. Half a cup of garlic finely chopped here. Just a bottle of white wine from Costco. And we also have a two ounce jar of capers. Uh, we probably won't use all two ounces. It's kind of at your discretion how much you want to use. So this is the front side of the fish. We're going to place this side down first. This is the skin side here. Okay. I like to place it in the middle of the pan. The fillets are about an inch and a half thick and we let them cook on that medium setting at five to four and a half for about five minutes until they're golden brown. And then we flipped it over. So we're gonna add the garlic. This is one tablespoon. I like a lot of garlic. Two tablespoons is fine. Oh, super good. Let's add our butter. The two tablespoons of butter. So we're at that medium setting still. You're gonna want to turn on the heat a little bit because you don't want burnt garlic, okay? So I turned it about we're at a three and a half now out of ten on the burner. So we're just gonna spoon some of this garlic butter on the fish here. We have lots more garlic, lots more butter to add for our noodles anyway. You don't want to burn garlic, it's going to have a really bad bitter taste to it. So browning it is perfect right now. Add a little bit of the caper juice along with the garlic. I like to fry my capers a little bit. So we use only a very little bit of the, of the bottle. A very little bit here. Maybe about a quarter of a two ounce bottle. This is all to taste. If you like a lot of capers, you can go ahead and add more. I'm gonna take out the fish. It's been 10 minutes total. Hold on, hold on. It's so picky. We're gonna reduce our heat to like a two right now. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine just to deglaze the pan. So as long as you cook it off, it shouldn't have any alcohol taste or anything like that. It should cook off. I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic <clears throat> for our pasta. So I'm going to add the rest of the garlic that we didn't use for the fish. Ew! Like I said, I only used half a cup of finely chopped garlic, okay? So I'm going to add 
This is uh, just half a pound of noodles cooked. So a regular package, just broken in half and cooked exactly that much. We're gonna throw it into our garlic butter capers. So we're gonna plate our noodles now. So we have our lemon here. We're gonna just put a little squirt of lemon on our fish. Season all. <laughs> oh my god, you drenched it. <laughs> you, you fucking drenched the lemon. Excuse you, I like lemon. So this is my garlic caper fish with the uh, pasta noodles. If you wanna see how the fish is caught, the links are in the bio below. And now we get to do my favorite part of the show. Get to try it the lemon on this piece because I like a lot of lemon a lot of capers here you have to put that much noodles in your mouth at one bite don't, really good. don't draw all over the other piece our piece is for me oh. Thank you for joining me today. As always, tight lines, stay fishing, and I'll see you in the kitchen next time. Okay, can we go? <laughs> Why are you so stiff? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>